inside the life of the richest woman in the UK. Have you ever wondered where all the money you put into betting apps go? Government hands or animal control is not the answer. However, we're here to address the elephant in the room, and that's how much the CEO of Bet365, Denise Coates, is making. The English billionaire is chasing the bag, and even the queen doesn't earn up to that. Welcome back to our channel, and in today's video, we'll be taking you inside the life of the richest woman in the UK. Sit tight and get ready to be entertained. Let's get started. Denise Coates is a British businesswoman, billionaire, founder, joint chief executive, and majority shareholder of the online gambling company Bet365. The businesswoman is set to have an estimated net worth of about $12.2 billion. While the rest of the world was scared for their lives, Denise earned dividends of £48 million and a salary of a whopping £421 million back in 2022. Remember that year where COVID became a thing and ruined global economies? Yeah, that same year. As of last year, she had been the highest paid chief executive officer in Britain for many years and is the richest woman in the UK. What a role model. Girl power, right? The 54-year-old billionaire was born as the first daughter of the chairman of Stroke City FC and one of the directors of Bet365, Peter Coates. Denise has a first-class degree in econometrics from the University of Sheffield. While she was in school, Denise started working in the cashier's department of Provincial Racing. It was a bookmaking firm that her family owned. Even after leaving the university, Coates continued to work at Provincial Racing, but as an accountant. After that, Denise Coates became the managing director over the little chain of shops her father owned back in 1995. In the same year, Denise got a loan from Barclays to acquire a neighboring chain. One industrious woman. Let's move on to the start of the Bet365 company, shall we? In January of 2000, Denise Coates bought the domain name Bet365.com and the company was officially launched a year later in 2001 as an online betting site. Just imagine, Denise has been making marks since 2000. The business took a 15 million pound loan from RBS against the Coates family's betting shop estate. Later on, in 2005, the shops were sold for 40 million to Coral thereby allowing Denise to pay off the loan taken from RBS. The Bet365 company was one of the largest online gambling companies in the world as of 2016, facilitating about $45 billion in yearly debts and over $2 billion in revenues. We don't know about you, but those look like pretty good numbers to us. Let's not forget that the company also owns a majority stake in the English club Stoke City Football Club, Back in 2015, the company moved its headquarters from Stoke City to Gibraltar due to its favorable regulations. Denise still manages the company with her brother and co-CEO, John Coates. Denise Coates is the majority shareholder of the company, holding 50.01% of the company. Speaking of her personal life, Denise is married to Richard Smith and they both live together in Betchton near Sandbach, Cheshire. The couple has five children together. This includes four that were adopted from the same family, according to reports back in March 2014. Oh, and did we mention that Denise drives an Aston Martin with personalized plate numbers bearing her initials? Well, she does. Back in 2017, Denise Coates was well criticized for paying herself $217 million. Even Mike Dixon, CEO of Adaction, commented, it cannot be right that the CEO of a betting company is paid 22 times more than the whole industry donates to treatment. A year later, in 2018, it was reported that her salary had increased to a whopping amount of £265 million, which was around 9,500 times more than the average salary of a worker in the UK. More controversy arose, and Luke Hildyard of the High Pay Centre commented, Obviously, people who build successful companies need to be rewarded for their hard work, but this is an obscene amount of money for someone who is already a billionaire. 
It's weird to think that someone so rich would want to get their hands on even more, rather than put it to a more useful purpose. Denise's salary of £421 million in 2020 was 50% higher than it was in the previous year and a lot higher than all FTSE 100 index CEOs combined. This woman is on fire. You know that saying that goes, all good billionaires are philanthropists? Well, it might not be a real saying, but Denise Coates is definitely into philanthropy. Denise set up the Bet365 Foundation years ago in August 2012. It was, however, renamed to Denise Coates Foundation back in February 2016. The Denise Coates Foundation is a registered charity under English law and back in 2014, the foundation donated £100 million to 20 charities in the UK. Charities that have received donations from the Denise Coates Foundation include the Douglas Macmillan Hospital for Cancer Sufferers in Stroke City, CAFOD, Oxfam, and relief programs for the victims affected by the aftermath of Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. Theater donations and university scholarships have also been given by the Denise Coates Foundation. Denise's foundation pledged £230,000 to St. Joseph's College in Trentvale to help the school support vulnerable young people in Bo in Sierra Leone. Denise's foundation also offered £235,000 to the new Vic Theatre in Newcastle under Lyme for necessary redevelopment and refurbishment back in March 2020. A month later, in April 2020, Denise Coates donated £10 million to University Hospitals of North Midlands through her foundation in a bid to support staff members fighting coronavirus. This businesswoman earns £5 in the time it takes her to blink. She earns around £54,000 every hour. By the end of the day, she would have earned around £1.3 million. That's how rich she is. This is surreal. Earning a combined income of £469 million last year, salary and dividends included, this hike in salary made Denise the richest woman in Britain, and we bet it feels great to be her. That's such a huge amount of money that even a deranged Roman emperor would have difficulty in spending. Phew! With the amount of income Denise Coates has, and we mean income, not net worth, you could be able to afford a bunch of fun, expensive stuff. You would be able to afford 3,500 Patek Philippe Grand Complications watches, a fleet of eight G700 Gulfstream jets, or even a couple of nuclear-powered Trafalgar class submarines. Crazy, right? You could even purchase the Cave K, Darby, and the Caribbean islands of Spectabilis with enough spare cash to even pick up about five Falcon 9 rockets from Elon Musk's SpaceX. As wild as it may sound, you could even fund the entire NHS for two days. Yes, that's how rich this woman is. As fun as that all sounds, we all know that fun does not attain this level of wealth and fame without a little controversy to rock the boat. Or in this case, rock the yacht. As we mentioned earlier, Denise was well criticized for paying herself such a huge sum of money. The High Pay Center, which is a business think tank, also questioned why she needed all that money, which, if you haven't been convinced yet, would be enough to buy a new Lotus Elise every day for the rest of her freaking life. Denise is using the money to construct a luxury pad that she and her family could enjoy in Cheshire Village that is worthy of Blofeld's lair in the movie Spectre. It's set to be a giant glass house with a boathouse, lake, indoor pool, cycle track, and several rooms for plants. There are equally plans for a summer house, sunken tennis court, two meter high fences that would be secured by 24 hour round the clock security teams and stables for the horses. Denise has even snapped up properties nearby to clear them out and add their land to her enormous estate. She also received her share of a $98 million dividend alongside her father Peter and her brother John. The media-shy chief executive remains one of the UK's most successful entrepreneurs despite the controversies and salary reduction. Bet365 still claims to be the biggest sports betting brand in the world, 
although the company is a far cry from what Denise set up with her brother and father back in 2001. I was convinced early on that gambling would work on the internet, Denise once said in a one-time interview with her local newspaper. After several years of rapid growth, current filings reveal that turnover was broadly flat at £2.8 billion. In her review of the year and annual report, the businesswoman explained that the growth of the company has been affected by a total cessation of sporting events as coronavirus hit. Usual customers had instead migrated to other online betting products such as casinos and bingo. Despite the reduction in Denise's salary, the Coates family will most likely remain the biggest taxpayer in the UK. Well known to be strong supporters of the Labour Party, the Coates family could reduce their tax bill simply by paying themselves more in dividends. The family paid £615 million to HM Revenue and Customs last year. Denise Coates might have faced some controversies, but let's not forget that she's still extremely industrious and successful and, well, still the richest woman in the UK. Denise has received a bunch of honors and rewards in her name. The billionaire was even appointed as a commander of the Order of the British Empire OBE, for her services to business and the community. In the same year, she also received an honorary doctorate from Stratford University. If you're looking for a good business role model, consider Denise Coates. She has the experience. We promise. Well, that's all for today's video. What do you think of Denise Coates and the Bet 365 company? Make sure to share your views in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. See you in the next video.